Hey there, the Phantom Now That I Play winner here with New Arcade Stick Tech from South Korea, Crown's 309 Help Me and 309 MJ levers, as well as IST's FLF lever. Before we take a look at them, check out the Crown CWJ303 FK video we made a while back. It goes into some detail on how to install a Korean arcade lever. If you do plan on getting a lever, make sure to order a special wiring harness with links found in the description. If you're good to go, let's get started. First up is the 309 lever, Crown's collaboration would help me to rival the popular Myungshin Phantom lever. If I'm not wrong, this could be considered the first lever with a player's name behind it, a signature lever. The 309 combines various parts of Crown's older levers, specifically the CWJ303 and the CWL307 models. While the predecessor models emphasized aspects such as shorter dead zone or longer throw distance, 309 is much more balanced, echoing the Fanta. Other interesting aspects include a 16.5mm actuator and a silicone tension grommet. For the latter, the grommet's floor swing at 35 grams allows for faster action than the latex rubber models. It may be a bit light for those who use the heavier grommets like those found on the Fanta, but it can be replaced with the heavier silicone grommets, or even the latex rubber version. When it comes to playing, the 309 lever performs pretty well most of the time. Testing Tekken Tag Tournament 2 ended up consistent as you can see. Street Fighter 5 also resulted positively. With the King of Fighters 14, I had minor trouble due to the lever's single direction zone being a bit narrower for my taste. Ultimately, it's not that hard to adjust to. Take note that the normal 309 lever is meant for Korean arcade sticks such as the Itoki Omni, the Make Stick Pro, and some others due to the large hole insert and different screw placements. Those with more common Japanese sticks can go with Crown's Japanese mounted variant. The 309 MJ is not only the normal 309 Help Me lever for Japanese sticks, but also upgraded for more consistent movement. While older models had the gate laying flush on the mounting plate, Crown added a small version of the Korean style neck gate. The difference in feel is present in the 309 MJ, giving an almost like-for-like -like results to the normal 309. What's also featured is a 25 gram silicone tension grommet, 10 grams lighter than its bigger brother. For those new to Korean levers, this is much easier to work with. Both of these levers from Crown are pretty good offerings. They aim to balance all the parts for the sake of accessibility, instead of emphasizing elements for specific players. Whatever arcade stick you have, one of these models are a good start to trying out Korean arcade levers. If you're looking for a more specialized piece, arcade stick manufacturer IST made their own lever with the FLF ST. It looks similar to Crown's first generation Japanese mounted levers with the gate flushed on the mounting plate. The difference is that the gate is much more pronounced, intended for better accuracy than what Crown originally offered. Looking closer, the FLF also bears aspects of the Myungshin Fanta, including its rubber grommet shape. Also silicone, the grommet is light for fast movement. The look and design of the FLF seems to be also influenced by the airbag lever, modified Fanta levers for looser and faster action. Combined with the grommet, it uses switches that are lighter to trigger. In practice, the FLF felt just a bit too loose for my liking. While I did do my best in these test videos, I always felt that I was going to create an unintended input which happened more often than any other Korean lever I tried. This might be the case due to my loose grip style with the levers causing me to have problems with the FLF. I think players with tighter grips will get more leeway with the FLF. It is not a bad lever by any means, but it is something I wouldn't normally use. If 
If you're looking to try any of these levers, they can be found on makestick.com, IST's global web store. For the full written review, check out the link in the description below or at iplaywinner.com. If you want to see more fighting game tech videos as well as other future content, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.